Hi, I'm Michael Lester with the Main Post. I'm here with Clay Driggers, Ian Reyes, and Drew Huddleston, who are seniors at this school. They helped organize, among others, the Authentic Conference. So, Ian, how did this all start? Where was the, um, I guess, the, the conception? Well, you know, um, we, uh, we originated from a Bible study group, and, um, and it was from that group that, that our original heart um, for this conference came together. We looked at who is God? And who are we because of who he is? And, um, and the biggest thing is we were led to this question, what is something that we struggle with? What is something that our friends struggle with? And what is something that our society struggles with? And uh, we came to that answer of authenticity, being ourselves before God, finding our identity in Christ. And that's what the Authentic Conference is all about. Okay, so I'm curious. Why a conference? Why did FCA decide that was the best method to, I guess, approach mm -hmm. um, what you just mentioned? Mm -hmm. um, well, we thought of, um, I don't know if, if you're familiar, but um, passion conferences for, for college yeah, students. Yeah. For adults, you have the catalyst conferences. But what do we really have for high school students? What is, and, and so we didn't see anything really um, put on by high school students for high school students and so um, that's why we did that in, in order to um, really really see what God would do in that um, you know he could use high school students to do something big it, it didn't yeah. just need to be something small yeah okay so Drew I know you and Ian have been working on this for a long time um, I'm not sure entirely how long, so could you kind of let us know the process, when it kind of, when it started, I guess your take on that whole thing? I guess we kind of had a Bible study going uh, over last year and over the summer um, of just people who met to talk about uh, bringing God's kingdom to grace prep, and uh, probably around the beginning of the school year, kind of, we got the idea to turn it into the FCA since we didn't have a group of students to lead that. And then from there, uh, probably a couple of weeks into the first semester, um, yeah. Ian pitched the idea to Mr. Smith and uh, been working on it since then. Very okay, cool. so one thing I'd like to know is um, all entries are free, correct? Right. So there's no fee. Students can just come and register and enjoy the conference. So I'm curious, how did you make that happen? Where does the funding come from and, you know, all that? Uh, well, God's blessed us with a, a lot of financial support from a lot of different people, um, including different youth organizations, churches, uh, and even just parents. Um, and it's it's truly by Him that we can um, offer free food and uh, even uh, free lodging for some people who are coming up from Houston. Uh, so yeah, He's really blessed us with that. Also, um, has the school participated in any funds? Has it just been... Um through donors, or do you have any organizations? And um, I hear you're using GoFundMe. Has that been really effective? The uh, we haven't gotten any funds from the school itself, but a lot of people in the school, um, including parents, uh, have have given us a lot of money. And uh, Mr. I know Mr. Smith's church um, is giving us the money to fly down uh, Garrett Spire. Um, Texas Youth and Organization has given us uh, quite a bit of money as well to put on the conference. Okay. Thanks a lot, Drew. Okay, so I know marketing is a pretty huge thing for this. You've got to advertise to the area and even beyond that. So what I would like to know is, what is your marketing strategy? How are you going about this? Has it been effective? Um, and also, what's your personal role, if you don't mind? Mm -hmm. Um, well, kind of our marketing strategy was just trying to hit all the bases that people usually look at and what they would see on a regular basis, I guess. So we have a Twitter page, we have an Instagram, uh, we set up a website kind of promoting the conference, kind of telling people what we're doing, what we're about. Um, and then we had the promotional video that Ian did and that was great, letting people know what we were doing. Um, I feel like it's been pretty effective. I mean, we've gotten oh, yeah. people in Arlington and Martin and even Sam Houston who know what we're doing now. So um, that's been going good. Uh, me personally, I, I kind of helped set up the website with Ian and Drew and kind of the rest of the team. And uh, uh, I did the initial logo, but we kind of switched to some more complex stuff once we got the ball rolling. And um, right now I'm, I'm working on some of the videos we'll be using during the actual conference. So. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ian, so I know we've all heard you've brought in Isaiah Austin, 
who is a big star now. And you've got this uh, new pastor, Garrett Spire. I don't know if we, uh, many people have heard of him. If mm -hmm. you could elaborate a little on who he is. Uh, sure. Um, <laughs> Garrett is my uh, former youth pastor in California. Um, I was at his first job, he was 22 years old, and um, our youth group actually went from, in two years, from 7 to 70, and a lot of that was a, a result of his passion for Jesus. And, and um, you know, personally, what he did in my life is he showed me that following Jesus wasn't just about rules and regulations. It was about having an authentic relationship, and it could be a lot of fun. And so that's what really inspired me. And so um, whenever we're thinking of speakers, you know, who's going to speak um, at the conference, um, he was one of the first people, and God opened that door. And um, he's actually really excited to meet you guys. So, yes, um, with our uh, alumni uh, Grace Prep alumni, Isaiah Austin. Um, it really was a God thing. Um, through, through a connection of one of our team members, um, we, were, we were very blessed that um, there was some negotiation that went down. And, but overall, God opened that door, and, and we're very excited to have him um, as part of the Authentic Conference. Very cool. Um, but as far as um, the students that will be attending, um, we're, we have, uh, we're going to be on the announcement it's at Martin High School. Um, cards are going to be passed out at Arlington High School and possibly Sam Houston. Um, when we, we have a group, um, a church is coming up from Houston, Texas. Um, we even have a few coming out from California. Um, it's going to be... Um, not just a uh, Arlington thing, it's going to be a, a place for all different kinds of youth, all different kinds of backgrounds um, to be challenged to live authentically for Christ. So for more information and to register free online, you can go to theauthenticconference.com.